once you purchase your initial system and you do you're ready for your first power up and make sure everything's good make sure you turn your main power on on your plane and then hit your power button this is what you'll see at first we want to go through a factory reset to make this for your system in the factory when the system was tested it was tested with a different number of valves so the system might not be correct for your system so once it fires up this is where we're at so you can hit the enter button to make this this GPS guidance control go away hit your system setup button hit your up arrow to advanced settings line 29 hit your enter button hit your up arrow again and go to factory reset hit your enter button it will ask you do you want to perform this factory reset scroll over hit yes hit your enter button and then your cap view will shut down after a few seconds hit your power button and the system will turn on like this and then you will see a blue status bar start going across screen this will take take a little bit of time for this to load here's the status bar starting to go across Once the status bar is done loading, this is the screen you will be. It, the cap view has detected that the system needs to be set up. So you will hit the enter button for OK. Then it will come to this screen. So we can do a location setup. We still have to do a location setup. But to get the alarm to go away at this moment, we can tell the system how many valves are on the system. So this system that we are setting up has 112 valves so i hit system setup i go to the up arrow i hit advanced settings and i go down to line 10 number uh, total number of valves expected so i hit the down arrow take my yellow line down there hit the enter button you'll see this turns red use your up arrow and scroll up to the number of valves on your plane this one has 112 valves. Once you get 112 valves, or the, the number that is actually on your plane, you should hear this alarm go away. Hear the, the audible stop. If you go to 111, the system knows it does not have 111, so you'll hear the audible. So when you do hit that number, your audible should stop. So you hit the enter button, make that turn back to yellow hit the escape button takes you back to the home screen from this from this page we can do a location setup so this location setup allows us to go through and position the vcms the way they physically are on the plane so you hit the location setup button then you press and hold the location setup button for approximately five seconds your page will change to this you hit the enter button for auto setup we're already on four inch spacing so you hit the enter button and then this is the screen you come to so there, as you see, there's eight different VCMs across here. Right now we're on VCM number one and it's turned yellow. So at this moment, you can hit, it is best to use a couple people, one up in the cockpit, yourself, 
At this moment, it is best to use a couple people, one up in the cockpit and one out on the on the ground going across and letting the person in the cockpit know what location these VCMs are in. So this one right now is highlighted yellow. When you hit the enter key, it will pulse that VCM. So you pulse that VCM, it turns it red. You can hear those valves pulsing. Your person tells you it is actually in location one. So you can stop it. You can flip it. So these black or the yellow dots or black circles from the center to the left all need to be on the left side. From the center to the right all need to be facing right. So let's go to number two now. I hit the left or the right arrow, went to VCM number two. Hit the enter button. That is location number seven physically on the plane. So with it pulsing, scroll over to location seven on the plane. We can do the next one. Let's scroll back over to two. That is physical location number eight. So we can go through and put it on location eight. We could stop it pulsing. At that moment, you see it jump back this, this one from seven. So I need to move that back to location seven. Sometimes it's easiest to work right to left at this moment. So now it's best to go find location six. So I'm going to go through and pulse these and find my VCM six. That is my VCM six. And then let's go find VCM five. That's VCM five. And then we just go through and we find our VCM, that's VCM four, that's VCM two, that's VCM three. So once I think I'm there, I like going through and verifying, going walking down, have your person start at VCM one, pulse the valves on VCM one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure they're all in line. Make sure everything is on the left is facing left, right is facing right. Then we hit the escape button three times. Then it asks, do you want to save this change? Scroll over and hit yes. The status bar will start and then it will move across. This will take a few minutes.